today we are reading Hello Kitty Easter Bonnet Surprise. Please like, subscribe, share, and click Laura Martin Books below the video to watch more of my read-along stories. Now let's read Hello Kitty Easter Bonnet Surprise. It was Easter morning and Hello Kitty and Mimi were getting ready to go to Big Easter Parade. Today we are reading Hello Kitty Easter Bonnet Surprise. Please like, subscribe, share, and click Laura Martin Books to watch more of my read-along stories. Now let's read Hello Kitty Easter Bonnet Surprise. It was Easter morning and Hello Kitty and Mimi were getting ready to go to the big Easter parade with all their friends in just a few hours. Hello Kitty realized that she could not find the most important part of her outfit, her beautiful Easter bonnet. Hello Kitty asked Mimi if she had seen it. Mimi suggested they look in Hello Kitty's room. They looked under the bed, on the bookshelf, and in the closet, but they could not find it. Mimi thought maybe the Easter bonnet was in her room, so they looked in Mimi's room but could not find it. Suddenly, Hello Kitty had an idea. If she went back to all the places she was yesterday when she last had it, maybe she would find it. Hello Kitty and Mimi began to retrace their steps. They went to the park where they ran into Tracy. They explained that Hello Kitty Easter's bonnet was missing and that they needed it for the parade. Maybe Hello Kitty left her Easter bonnet at school, where she had brought it for show and tell yesterday. But the bonnet was not in the classroom or on the playground. It wasn't on the school bus either. Hello Kitty, Mimi, and Tracy checked the lost and found, but the bonnet wasn't there. By now, Hello Kitty was worried that she would miss the parade. On their way home, Hello Kitty, Mimi, and Tracy ran into Fifi, Joey, Rory, and Thomas. Had they seen the Easter bonnet? None of them had. Hello Kitty and her friends decided to stop at Grandma and Grandpa's house for some cookies. Grandpa was working on his garden. Had Grandpa seen Hello Kitty's bonnet? No, he hadn't. Hello Kitty was about to give up when she saw an old wicker basket in Grandpa's garden and got an idea. She could make a new Easter bonnet out of his basket, just in time for the parade. Fifi, Thomas, Tracy, Joey, Rory, and Mimi all helped to gather flowers and ribbons to make a new hat. They worked very hard to make the most beautiful Easter bonnet. Hello Kitty and Mimi put on their Easter bonnets and got to the parade just in time. Hello Kitty had the biggest and most beautiful Easter bonnet in the entire parade. Hello Kitty's new Easter bonnet was very special because all her friends had helped her make it. She would make sure never to lose it. What was your favorite part of this book? How would you summarize the book to someone who hasn't read it? What happened first, next, then, and last? What do you think the author wants you to learn from this book? How did Kitty take something bad and turn it into something good? What is your favorite thing about Easter? Use paper and drawing materials or the notepad on your phone or device to design your own Easter egg or Easter bonnet and draw or write about your favorite Easter traditions or new traditions you would like to create. Please like, subscribe, share, and click Laura Martin Books to watch more of my read-along stories. Thank you for reading with me.